We're at the Best Western here in Daytona. Right now, everybody's doing their check-ins, letting them know who they are. So we're just gonna quickly go through the lobby. You'll see the line. Let's go. But I'm so frustrated. All right, so what's your name and where are you from? Matthew from Georgia. So uh, what got you into umpire? I've been an umpire almost 12 years and I just enjoy being on the diamond. You registered there. How was that process? Smooth, easy, ready to rock and roll. All right. Did they give you some equipment there, I see? Yeah. You mind you showing me the equipment there you got? Sure. So you gotta get the bag, uniforms, yeah. hats. Yeah, pants. Pants. Shirt and all that fun stuff. Okay. What's your favorite part of umpiring? Enjoy the game. Yes. Yeah. See the kids play baseball for a change. Okay. And you came to the, the ultimate school. Yeah. What are you planning on doing? Main goal is to be the pro umpire school, but uh, if not, then my short term goal would be division one. Okay. Alrighty. All right, well, thanks for being on. Thank you. All right. All right, my name is Noah Katz, and I'm from Williamsburg, Virginia. I run uh, this channel called the Umpire Channel, which promotes baseball umpires, and it teaches viewers how to become one. It's on YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and I'm here filming for a few days, showing the behind the scenes of the Wendell Stead School. What do you think so far? Is this day one? I know there's not much to be seen, but I mean. Yeah, it's uh, you know really exciting. I've already met so many people from so many uh, you know, different states and different countries, you know, many of them with the dream of becoming a professional umpire. So it's really cool to see so many people from, uh, you know, who have so many different unique experiences all coming together in one place. All right, guys, so here we are at the fields once again. As you can see, there's nobody here. Just me and Noah hanging out. We're checking out the fields. We got some new batting cages back in the background over there. That's pretty cool. For me, coming out here, this is like quiet before the storm. They're gonna enjoy this. These are great fields. It's a great time to learn. It's about 65, 70 degrees out here. We're gonna see the progression. Week one, week two, week three, week four. You'll see it with me. This is where I believe spring training starts. For those who love baseball, January 2nd this year of 2023, spring training started here. We got some umpires here. We're gonna see what they got. So you wanna be an umpire, huh? Come on down, show us what you got. My name is Maverick Savlacek. I am from Denver, Colorado. So what are you doing here? Uh, taking a chance, learning some new things, breaking old habits, learning new ones, and uh, gonna try and make it to minor league, hopefully major league, someday. Okay. This is at least step one. All right. Where have you umpired before? Most of Colorado, around the Denver area. I've done everything from fourth graders up to high school. I can at least go back and start working college ball and hopefully start working up into the minors from there. We're here in week two. What is the, what are the couple things you've learned here? Well, end of week two, I have learned how to drop step properly <laughs> from before, because before I just kind of back step or uh, back pedal. The habit of calling strike one instead of just calling a strike or throwing a point. I mean, anything has wowed you or anything that makes sense to you now all of a sudden? Well, everything's kind of wowed me, just the way that they teach ball and the way they've been doing this for oh, how long, 120 hey, years? Hey. Right. The fact they've been using the same mechanics to do it. Hi, I'm Zach Boom from Waukesha, Wisconsin. Okay, Waukesha, all right. I'm hoping to get a job with the, and become an MLB umpire. All right, have you umpired before? No, I have not. I've played, so this is the first time I've learned any of this stuff. Okay, so you're like a clean slate. This clean, is clean slate and learning all No already. bad habits. Correct. Uh, all right. A lot of this stuff is very interesting to learn. I mean, just getting to know, like, as they're practicing right now, the footwork of double plays, ground balls to the infield with runners on either second or runners on first and third. Okay. I mean, there's some stuff in the rule book that you're like, really? Mm. But I mean, a lot of it, I mean, it's cut and dry. I mean, as I've played, I've um, just understood that there's rules that were complied on over the top of others to make baseball what it is today. Mm -hmm. Just have an open mind with it. I mean, you're here to learn. You're here to 
make new friends. You're here for a job, so you're coming down, you're learning six days a week. I mean, you get used to it, but I mean, the hours will get, get to you. Like a couple of guys from California, time zones, good luck with the adjustment, bud. <laughs> So you like this weather here in Florida? January for Florida, I can't really complain. Yeah. Most days it's been 65 or more, but today and tomorrow are supposed to be in the 50s. Some some winter days in Florida, we yeah. have all four seasons in one day. Yeah. So at night you have winter, yep. and then in the morning it's spring, and then the summer in the afternoon, then fall at night. Yep. So there's uh, all four seasons in one day. We have two umpires here de Puerto Rico. Hey, hey. Boricua. ¿De dónde está? ¿De dónde son? Yo soy de Bayamón. Bayamón? Sí, de las piedras. De las piedras. What brings you here to Wendelstad? It was something that I always wanted to do since I was uh, really young. I'm 45, but I still had that goal in my mind. It was in my bucket list. I had to come. Okay, and how about you? So, I started to in the fighting world. Era en español. En, yo empecé en, este, en esto del, de, de albillaje el año pasado, para noviembre, con un curso pequeño, en, en noviembre del 2021. Y empecé el año pasado como tal de lleno, me gustó, la información, vi un video de este canal y me motivé a venir, a ver si surge alguna oportunidad de empleo o algo, si no, pues tener el conocimiento. Okay, he said he likes umpire, and he saw my video, so there you go, keep your eyes open. <laughs> that's true, that's true. We, we talk, we talk in Spanglish here. Okay, I mean, tell me something that you've learned here, there's something that shocked you. You'd be like, oh wow, that makes sense now. Uh, everything. It's not that it's new, it's just that we know it better now. We understand it better, and we know why everything is, is, is the way it is. Okay. ¿Y usted? Pues, eso es el compañero, el todo un el porqué de las cosas, por qué tienes que estar en, en, en un sitio en el momento de la jugada, por qué tienes que retirarte de la jugada para que el compañero cante la jugada y todo eso es los porqué de las cosas. Porque a uno se le enseñan a hacerlo, pero eh, el porqué es el que a veces no lo explican bien. All right. Aquí lo explican bien. All right, so he's saying he learned why you have to be in certain places in certain positions at certain times. Now it makes sense to them. All right, so what's your name? Carlos Jimenez. And yours? Juan Rodriguez. Juan Rodriguez. And they're from Puerto Rico. Boricua, huepa. Good So here we are with Hunter. And uh, <laughs> welcome back. Welcome back. So remember I tell you, you want to be an umpire? This is the man you come to. So now, Tell me where you at. We are week two here. We are at week two. We've almost done all of our fundamentals. We have one more demonstration on overthrows and placement of runners. You remember how difficult that yeah. can be. So we're going to have a lot of craziness today. Uh, but we have uh, basically we're a full operation now. We're doing control games. We're doing the pitching machine. And uh, now we're about to do one demo and then go to formation and then start the day. All right, all right. I mean, so how's the group looking this year? Group's looking good. We're right. We're making the progress we need to. We're still very green, but you know how people excel in weeks three and four. That's when everything, the light bulb comes on. Light so bulb comes on. we are right where we need to be at this point. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so today they're working on overthrows, placing the runner at the proper bag, and getting together as umpires. 
first base umpire is going to echo the home plate umpire. Home plate umpire is going to echo the first base umpire. In a two-man system, they're going to echo each other in unison. And that's what they're working on right now. But now, the question is, why are you awarding what you're awarding? And that's where, that's where you have to come up with the explanation. Why second base? Why third base? Why home? All right, you're going to be questioned on that. All right, let's keep watching. That's the base umpire. Is that our calling responsibility on that overthrow? No. No. Let's wait for our plate umpire to initiate the call of time. And then we echo it. Why score second? Give me play first. Overthrow. All right, so here we at Wendell Stat School. We got Junior Valentine, Major League umpire, right? Almost. <laughs> Almost a Major League umpire. That far, but that's okay. So what do we got? What's going on? We're in week two here. Yep. And uh, what do we got so far? Well, you know, the, the students are starting to shape up. Uh, it's another January. We've got a great class that are, that are piecing things together as we go. You know, this course is a lot of information at one time, and it takes some time to process it. So this far in, we don't expect anyone to be perfect or know what they're doing, but they're definitely taking strides. And by the end of this course, we'll certainly uh, have umpires that are ready for professional baseball. All righty. Uh, what do you think of all the new uh, stuff going on with Triple A, Triple A has the uh, electronic. Yeah, yeah, umpire. it's it's the games. It's a change, and uh, you know us as umpires, we just we use go the A with word the flow. that we adapt. Right? That's right. We go with the flow, and whatever they tell us to do, that's what we go with. All righty. All right. Well, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Janet Thomas. I'm from Ackworth, Georgia. Okay. I had an opportunity to come down on a scholarship. Couldn't turn it down. Okay. So I work high school, some tournament, high school and college ball at home, and just any opportunity to get more training in, get better, I'm on it. No matter how long you've been umpiring, whether it's you're brand new to it or you've been doing this 10, 15, 30 years, um, they take you from the very basics, the very beginning, break it all down, and then they're building this back up. Yeah. to be a better umpire. Yeah, absolutely. It's definitely a male-dominated field, but there's no reason that women can't be in there. So it doesn't matter male, female, what color you are, how big you are, how small you are, it doesn't matter. If you know baseball and you love the game and you have a desire to do this, you can work hard towards your goals and you can do it. Absolutely. Smile for the birdie. All right. Well, thank you. You got it. <laughs> yeah. All right, so how are you doing? What's your name? Where are you from? Hi, my name is Matthew Coleman. Uh, I'm from Miami, Florida. Being here has been kind of a tough journey. You know, two weeks are almost in the bag. It's been a tough time. It's, it's, it's been a tough time. They definitely, they definitely beat you down. They definitely destroy like, everything you thought about umpiring for sure. But it's 100% worth it. If I could encourage anybody and they're thinking about it, I would, I would take the leap and just jump right on in because you don't, you don't know what you're gonna cut into anyways. You know, I've been doing this for seven years and I've only done the bases. This is my first time learning anything about the plate and it has been tough, but man, have I enjoyed it. Learning the, from the ground up, basically. Yeah, rough roads lead to beautiful places, right? Absolutely. Okay. Any thoughts of quitting? I'm here for a reason. You're here for That's, a reason. I'm here for a reason. All I'm, right. I'm putting in the time, I'm putting in the effort. I'm 100% giving this my all. I'm gonna make. It. Yeah, I, I know. Well, that's I mean. that's one of the things that umpires need is mental toughness. Yeah, that, okay. that's for sure. All right, you got any message for everybody out there? It goes for life too. You're gonna get beat up. Just keep moving. Keep swinging. Keep swinging. Trust <laughs> me. Thank you. All right, thank you. Oh man. So what we have here is a group and they get together before everything starts and they practice. And remember, it's like everything, we have to practice. Practice makes perfect, so here they are practicing. Oh, he's too short. Go 
go, go, go. He's out. He's out. I'm Jacob Wright. I'm from Marysville, Ohio. Had about a 17-hour drive after a lot of stops. So it's supposed to be about a 15-hour drive, but I like the stops. How do you like umpire school so far? I like it, man. I've, I've never umped before. Um, I was coaching back in Marysville, Ohio, and I kind of wanted to try something else out. Maybe I'll get back into coaching one day, but I like it a lot so far. Um, it's not it's not what I expected. It makes coaching seem a lot pretty easy. <laughs> Sorry to those coaches out there, but it's a lot of hard work that's getting there, and I like it a lot. Uh, I'm Andrew Chumley. I'm from Houston, Texas. Uh, you like umpire school? Hey, it's good, man, but it's cold right now. <laughs> What's the things you've been learning here at man, umpire school? I learned, man, drop steps, save your knees, man. <laughs> Keep your knees intact. Keep your knees yeah. intact. All right, guys, well, thank you. All right. Thanks, man. Bring it in over here. Around the bleachers. Bring it in. We have some sponsors this year, and you got some equipment with the All-Star. So tell us about some of the equipment that they gave you guys. Oh, the amazing thing was All-Star, uh, dealing with them. They're amazing. That's some of the equipment that I wear on the field. I love their mask. I love their products. But students are always asking, what is the best product? And there's no simple answer because something is different for everybody. Some people wear the bucket. Some people wear certain types of masks. I wear a magnesium mask. Uh, that's one of All-Star's products. But we're very lucky that All-Star sponsored Field 1 and half of Field 3 at the umpire school this year and it's allowed the students to test out all their equipment and it's given us an opportunity to help a really good product gain some more notoriety with the umpires we know that they do a great job with catchers equipment right. but now we have a whole lot of umpires down here and new umpires that are looking into buying the all-star equipment so we're real proud to be partnered with all-star we're very thankful for them and it's just been a great year we appreciate them and not only this mask they brought sent us the magnesium they've sent us the bucket helmets and it gives a chance for all the students to see the different products they have and their whole line of umpire gear, which is which is better. Back in the day, you just had to make a decision, purchase your stuff. You know, when you went to school, you were flipping a coin. Yeah. Now what we're doing is we're letting everybody try out the product okay. before they actually um, will invest their hard-earned money. All right. So they had they had different masks. They're sponsored by different teams. The All-Star sponsored Field One and half of Field Three. They had one and half of Field Three. The mask is really light. It's got some good breathing material on here. It's a pretty light mask. And yeah. the great thing about All Star is like the mask that I wear in the major leagues is I think $300. But this mask right here is very affordable for when you first get started. The higher up you move, you might want to upgrade your equipment, but this is a very great mask once you get rolling. Uh, when you don't have a lot of funds available to you, they do a great job. Their testing is impeccable that they do up there around the Boston area. And it's just a high quality product and we're proud that they're a sponsor of us. All right, so we got some good stuff. If you like the show, please do me a favor. Subscribe, right? right? You see it? It's right there. Subscribe, share, like, and don't forget, put that bell on. It'll ding you when I put something else on, all right?